equation. Here we go. Wait, wait. So remember, this is 5x plus 9. We always have to do the opposite. So let's see if you remember what we did yesterday. Oh, wow. So a lot of people were able to make it. So, but there are still two who, uh, two and two and two that did not make it right. So if you go with your pen and paper, that is 39. That's plus 9, right? So you have to do minus 9. So 39 minus 9 gives you 30. Then 30 divided by 5 because you have to do the opposite. <laughs> that gives you uh, 30 divided by 5 is 6. So there you go. Let's try another one. And Zanea is up. Next question. 9 minus C equals negative 13. Be careful, there is a negative 13. All right. Okay, so 16, got it correct. <laughs> Yay, say. So let me see because there are a lot of you guys said negative 22. I know where you get your mistake. So let me take a pen and talk to you about it for a second since this is a review. All right, so. Because there's gonna be two negative. Correct. So this is minus 9, right? And minus 9 on both sides. So that's still going to be negative C. So still have to carry it down. And uh, since that is 9 minus 9 is 0. So that would be negative C. If you had noticed over here, see this is negative and negative. When you add them together, you need to copy the sign. Remember, it's different when you multiply. So then that's negative 22. And now since we need only positive C, you have to divide both sides by, by, uh... But because the negative, it's also going to be negative 13, but... Yeah, then. so you have to divide both sides by negative 1, though. So to make that uh, negative C to become positive, you have to multiply it with negative, with negative 1 to make it positive. And then here... So that then that will be C equals negative and positive when you multiply or you divide is positive. So that's why your answer is 22. Again, look at this. When you add or you combine, the answer is negative. But when you divide or you multiply, the answer is positive. That's why the answer is positive 22, not negative 22. Okay? Just a little recall of our lessons in integers. Next question. And with this, Malia is up. All right. 5x plus 9 equals 54. You have a minute. Remember, it's the opposite. That's plus 9, so you do the opposite of that. That's 5x. That's divide. You do the opposite of that. Okay, so we have, there are a lot of you who got it. So let's just do mental math. I will not get my pen. So 54 minus 9, that gives you what? 54 minus 9 gives you 45. Then since it's 5x, it means that's multiply, 5 and x. The opposite will be divide. So 45 divided by 5. Like I have to no calculate gives you nine but these are small numbers you don't need a calculator later on when we have decimals do that all right so the answer is nine others put negative nine how do you get negative nine guys there's no negatives obviously that's 54 minus nine next question and malia a jackie is there haha <laughs> all right let's go Next one is 9p plus 11 equals negative 7. Be careful of that negative sign, right? And that's plus 7, so you do the minus 7. 
that's 90 it means you do the negative I mean the divide 9 right there you go so this I need my pen this there is a negative number and I really want to uh, explain to you how it's done so let me put this down wait come on pen all right so this is negative 11 because you have to do it on both sides this is negative 11 right and then that becomes 9p and I could cancel this out because 11 minus 11 is 0 and this is look at this this is a negative and a negative so remember what we said when we combine terms would have the same sign we are we are adding it right so that becomes um that becomes negative 18 and then we divide both sides by 9 and this is by 9 so negative and positive gives us negative and then 18 divided by 9 gives us 2 so our answer is negative 2 all right uh at least you guys look at how it's done so the next one you don't make a mistake next let's see who's in the upper board malia albert is up there yay yay all right next question all right 6 minus 2d equals 42 so you're gonna start with uh with 6 since there's no sign that means that's positive or plus so you have to do the opposite and you have to do the opposite others are quick to answer that's cool I hope you get it right well you have a minute in every question so you don't need to rush so yeah, I was kind of rushing but then like ah, so look at this so we have oh you got it correct Vincent that is cool so that is 42 42 minus 6 you got 36 then 36 divided by negative 2 that gives you negative 18 perfect all right Malia is there Albert is coming up next question here we have decimals so be careful that your decimal should be in a line in um like a uh, vertically aligned so 10 m is 10 times m do the opposite of that plus 3.4 you do the opposite of that already giving you a clue how it's done all right so we got 17 guy craig and five are still like astray i think what you got wrong is when you align your decimal remember the whole number has this decimal after so that's gonna be 7 minus 3.4 and then divide it by 10 I told you to use your calculator okay so next question again so this is 6 minus 8d minus 8d means negative 8 times d equals negative 42 or minus 42 they work the same way okay it's not having enough time we have one minute i think that's enough so let's do it do you want me to do it mentally because we're spread out so let's do this in pen and then i'll tell you what it happened okay so let me just put... because i was kind of like my calculator was kind of Mm, okay so next time be careful so that's minus six without the sign it means it's plus or positive then minus six on the other side right we canceled it out because that is zero then we got negative 8d all right so now this is negative and negative remember we put them together because they are the same sign so that is negative and then I put my A, I, I'm the one who's, I mean 6, I'm the one who said put it in column and I did not follow through. So that gonna be, oops, sorry for that, that gonna be here. So that gonna be 48. And then we divide both sides by negative 8 because we need to have positive D. And then that's negative 8. Negative and negative is positive. 48 divided by 8 is 6. That's how we got your answer. All right? Question for that one. I know, Jaden. We're all lagging. 
We are very lucky, all of us. All right, next question, guys. Malia is still on the top. MD is coming up. So, you guys, if you could take Malia's spot, good luck. Next question. 47 equals 2F minus 13. Good luck. All right, two seconds. Let's see. I have, Oh, wow. So, only three... We're not able to make it. Wait, I only have like 22 in here. You need to have, it needs to have 26. So I don't know where the other four. So that's plus three both sides. So 47 plus three is 50. 50 divided by two is 25. You could do mental math though, especially if it's like easy whole number. MD is coming high, let's go. Oh, this one is easy. I really want everybody to get this correct. 127 equals 2x plus 17. So minus 17 divide by 2. That's the process. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. There are still three who just did not get it. So 127 minus 17 is how much? Oh, 110. Then 110 divided by 2 is 55. All right, let's go for our next one. Who gets who got this? Albert is is right there, Malia, just next to you. Be careful, this one has a negative number. So negative eight m minus twelve equals twenty. All right, much better. Let's go to the next one. Eight over five minus two is equals to 3.7. Just be careful to do the opposite. Okay, so I think I need my pen on this one. So here, uh, we have to do one step at a time, right? So one step, one step at a time. So this is, we have to start with minus two. So the almost press a row. <laughs> so that would be plus two and of course two gonna be right there because the decimal of two is here right and then we could cancel that out because that's zero so that's x over five now equals or x over five means x divided by five and then that gonna be 5.7 and 5.7 since that's divide we multiply on the other side so they're gonna be x equals 28.5 if you use your calculator and I, I knew it wasn't 28.7 because it's kind of the same one but they add a four correct it's true so we know that we have to multiply if it's division part okay at least we know next time when it's a real test we know what to do malia is still there no one gonna beat malia Mm, Albert, can you? How many more questions do we have? Three more questions to go. Here, it's the same thing. It's division. So, H divided by 12 minus 5 equals negative 17 or minus 17. Again, guys, the minus and the negative works the same way. The plus in the positive also has the function the same way. Okay, so it looks... All right, but it's not. I'm not happy because it is supposed to be. Um, let me get my pen again. Once there's, you know what I noticed? Once there's a negative thing, uh, we always got trolled. 